Ah, good morning. Donnie Walker here. Welcome to my the underground saw shop. That's what I'm calling it. It's kind of underground here. In this big old basement. Hope everyone's having a fine week out there. It's looking like to be a fine day out here today. We've had a little bit of moisture the last couple of days. A little sprinkling. Uh, but it's not intense heat anymore. It's probably about 22 degrees maybe today. Not so bad. Uh, kids are back to school as of the beginning of the week here. And everyone's kind of done their holidays and whatnot. So I'm uh, just busy doing some bills here. Um, oh yeah, I'm going to go fishing this afternoon. There's a bite on at 10 and 11 o'clock this morning, but at around dinner time as well. So me and Dougie, Doug Munn are going to go out uh, salmon fishing at about dinner time tonight. Catch us some weekend dinner. The uh, Coho and Chinook are running out here pretty good right now. And they're all ready to go up to the river soon to hatch their their eggs, eh? Anyways, what am I got on the go today? I'm just doing a 550 this morning. I got up early this morning and uh, got this one done. I'm just going to assemble it. This is for traveling seed tree. These little 550 Mark IIs are, are working really well. Done a lot of them and doing lots more of them. Great saw. Uh, probably one of the best 50cc uh, range saws besides the uh, 261 still and the uh, you know that echo little 500 is pretty good too once you rework it very good luck with that as well anyways yeah that's what i gotta go and a bunch more um oh yeah i got a saw shipped to me yesterday from texas jim so he wrote me a nice letter here he bought this chance off ebay and the caption said it started to run. It did start for him, but uh, he wanted to, he's been watching my videos. Thank you very much, Jim. And he calls me the saw whisperer, or the chainsaw whisperer. Funny. So, uh, yeah, I've never done a 610 McCullough before, but an engine is an engine, right? These were kind of a weird build saw, but, um, you know, I remember they had not bad power. I think we had a lot of problems with starters on them, I think. Yeah, anyways. We'll get into this when I have time and get it back to them. They have a nice clutch on it, like the old Mac, Pro Mac 850 or 81s or 800s. All those three 300 or 800 series of McCulloughs, right? So, yeah. See, let's see how it goes. Uh, what else do I got on the go? Yeah, Thursday today. So, yeah, I do the little fishing tonight after I do some work today. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to the go kart track. It's a day of practice for new members and people that are going to be racing on the Saturday and Sunday racing. Uh, I've sold my cart to a, a fella here, Hud and his son, and they're going to come out and I'm going to show him how to run it, how to drive, how to set it up, all that kind of stuff. Along with my good friend, Jerry Patterson from Courtney, he just uh, got himself a new cart. So it'll be his first time out uh, in like, he hasn't been raced for over 20 years, probably. Number 13 is his number. Mine's number 10. Uh, so I'll be helping him out too. He's so excited to go back into it. Uh, just perfect on him. So yeah, then on a Saturday, we're having a, a thing in our cart club where all the old members are going to come out to say hello and and uh, see how we're doing these days with the cart, cart racing out there. So I get the honor of taking my dad's truck. My dad's truck and camper is a 1967 Mercury crew cab with a 65 caveman camper on it. We've owned He's owned it since new. I think the camper was used when he bought it, though, maybe a year old. Uh, that's the first truck that we used to go to our go-kart races when I was, like, 11 years old. So, like, 47 years ago. Ooh, I'm old. So, yeah, very honored. My mom's going to put a permit on it, and I'm going to drive my dad and me down to the races. Uh, I'm not racing. I'm just officiating, like, doing the tech and helping some kids out and adults. And then my mom will come down later, and there will be all the other old members, and we're going to have a little little uh, group gathering at around noon down there and a little picture some pics taken and stuff so i'm looking forward to that then sunday we might go to the port alberni to the logger show i got the 592 um set up there ready to go with the pipe on it uh, i got an, got another chain off my dad i'm gonna switch it over to 404 so i got a really nice 404 racing chain and bar off my dad it's uh 58J chain that's been ground up quite decently. All the side straps done. He does a wonderful job of them. So yeah, I don't want to ding this chain. I'm going to put this on. Hopefully it's long enough for the wood we're having there. Um, 
If not, I guess we'll get DQ'd. Because I don't have a longer longer one, but I will make a longer one in case we run into this situation again. You never know what size wood they have at the logger show. I think it's around 18 inch. Anyways, off topic, sorry. So yeah, Texas Jim, gonna get this happening for you. Get back to these other builds. Just have a great weekend. I hope everyone had a great summer. Kids are back in school now. People are kind of done camping and whatnot. You know, you can still go out and do stuff though. The weather's still decent. Uh, I don't think we're gonna have any rain this weekend. If I hope not for the racers anyways, but if so, that's the way it is. So keep your saw on the wood, stick and ash rubber in the road. I'll get out here soon, Jim. And check out the walkersawshop.com online store. Got those new t-shirts are kind of cool. I guess I should be wearing one to promote it, but anyways, you'll check it out. You've seen them on Facebook and online there. Okay, have a great day. Have a great weekend. I'll probably shoot some stuff at the racetrack and see how it's going. Have a great day. Bye.